We are back again. It's your girl, Hapo Akinan, a.k.a. the Voodoo Diva. And today, our video, our topic is how to deal and how to spot a charlatan. Okay? Some steps you're going to need to take on your part, on your behalf, before you start giving your money, before you start doing anything. Okay? Let's get into some steps and let me wrap with y'all real quick. Number one, do your research. It's absolutely imperative that you check around, get reviews, figure out, fish around, go to the community, get on your computer, you know what I'm saying? See what people were saying, okay? See if it's something where you can say, with, with this person who got work from that person, refer you to them, you know? See how the service and how the energy was dealt with. Now, of course, not everybody's gonna always be happy with what a person's doing, hey, but you can get a gist because it's all about you using what? Your intuition your eyes open. Step two, if the practitioner, Ugin, Mumbo, whatever, or Ifa, Greece, etc., blah, 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 is asking to do work, or you're asking to work with them, very important that you get a consultation. Very important that a reading of some sort or something is done. Because not only does that allow them to get to know you and your situation more, but it's that chance now that you have to ask and pose your questions. Okay? Come prepared with your questions. Pick their brain a little bit. Know you won't be sounding annoying. Know that should not get on the person's nerve. If it's being done truly out of passion and the person is really what they say that they are and they've been doing this for quite some time, they should be more than happy to sit with you, talk with you, okay? Get the vibe, get the energy because that's the way you'll be getting yours too. Number three, very, very, very important. They need to be trying to show you their spiritual house. It's called a tika, okay, in voodoo. If they can't show you their spiritual root house, you need to have your signals on because that sounds off the truck. Reason being is this. Most of the time when dealing, especially, I know, Haitian voodoo, voodoo, period, a lot of these things were to be potent if the things actually work, it has to be bloodline inheritance. Don't let them fool you into thinking just because they paid a little change to get initiated that automatically means that they're going to have all the spiritual energy, especially for 21 nations, to be able to do the work, okay? So you need to watch out and see, well, ask them, where did you get your, you know, are you bloodline inheritance, you know, tell me a little bit about yourself, this, this, that. Start to feel out these things, okay? Draw that out of them first. Because it's very important, a lot of times, the spiritual energy or the law that's going to be necessary to do your work, they might not even have it in their back door, in their spiritual house, okay? Because the spiritual root house symbolizes where the massive frequency is coming from. And also, it's something that has become more and more powerful over the years because it's been in the family, been in the bloodline for hundreds of years, okay? So super duper that you watch out for them, all right? Find out about them tikkas. Find out about the spiritual root houses, okay? Because essentially that's where all the real deal work goes down, okay? Number four. Most important is let's discuss this. Nowhere in the world is there a service that's provided without having something or an exchange of energy to be returned. Be mindful as well that as you're picking this particular spiritual worker, etc., that you check in yourself too. Don't come to someone and feel that there's not going to be some type of fee, some type of something for the work they're doing. And mind you, the work that the person is doing is not them. It's the loi, okay? It's the ancestors of the Orisha that is doing that. Be mindful. Now, I'm not saying for a person to be running out here talking about some thousands to you right off the top. It's their job to help you no matter what you come to them with. If it's a true practitioner, and let me repeat this, they're not going to have you come knock on their door without truly coming to help you if it's coming from the heart and if they really honor the words in voodoo, which is honor and respect. Okay? Those are the top principles, the number one principle when dealing with these things. So nobody who had the energy to come to your door is to be turned away because of not having the finance right away. They always say, the Lord will always say, give what you can at the moment. And know that whatever's left has that balance, you owe it. When things get better, as they will, if it's truly work being done, then you'll be more than happy to pay the rest of whatever it is that you have as a balance or what you owe, etc. This is how the world of the law, the law of helping someone is supposed to go. It's a rule that has been forgotten, that's being mis
it's used right now, and I urge and encourage you to stay alert, okay? When the practitioner, the healer, etc., Mongo Queen is asking for an amount, that amount is not coming from them. That amount is coming from the loi that's about to do the work for you. Now, if they give a price, whether it be $500, for example, we'll say, you say to the practitioner, I only have 300 right now. Why don't we have half to 50? They're supposed to take that and say, I will do the work. I will take care of you. When you're taken care of, you make sure you pay your dues. It's like anything else in the world, okay? The only reason why monetary money came into play was because human beings these days, or forever, okay, as long as we've had a monetary system, won't take fish seriously if there's not an obligation. You don't tell Con Edison that you're not gonna pay them. You don't ask them why the electricity has to be paid for. You pay it. You don't ask why gas, natural gas, things we could be gas up our cars with with water, you don't ask that that has to be paid. And when it goes up, you can't do anything about it. All I'm trying to let you guys know in this is rotation of the world, be mindful. Because that person is putting in their energy, their time, their craft to help you. So it's a responsibility on both sides. As you know what you want to look out for, they as well have their part to treat you with decency, diplomacy, and as a true brother or sister coming to seek another one's aid. We need all the help that we can get right now. So to turn anyone away because of monetary misfortune at that moment is completely wrong. Those charlatans, those people sitting there got people pawning things, selling their houses, selling their jewelry, selling anything that they can to get this work and then to on top of that not be satisfied or to on top of that have to do all that and then feel that they're not getting anywhere because why they may not have all of it or whatever is wrong. It's dead wrong. Okay? And truly why don't approve of things like that. So watch yourself. This is the Voodoo Diva signing out.